afternoon students welcome to today's english class before going to the lessons i want you all to know that the textbooks for your classes are ready in school please come and collect the textbooks come let's go into the lesson today fine can you guess what you're going to learn about in today's class yes today we are going to learn about the sentence does not give the complete sense is called a phrase let us know about the phrase in next classes so let me go deep into the sentence today so students can you find something here i think you are found so here i have the sentence and the types of sentences so a sentence has types of sentences that is a declarative sentence where we say is an assertive sentence an assertive or a declarative sentence we call it as so the next sentence is an interrogative sentence and the next exclamatory sentence and the next imperative sentence so we have the kind of sentences and in that the first one is declarative or an assertive so a declarative or an assertive sentence where we find just a statement so a declarative or an assertive sentence means a statement so it means a statement it it can be either a simple statement or a positive statement or a negative statement so it's a statement the simple statement is said to be a declarative sentence where we find positive as well as negative positive for an example i am a good dancer i am a good dancer is a positive sentence how can i make it as a negative sentence now yes i am not I am a dancer is a positive sentence. When come to negative, I am not a good dancer. So it means that you are not a good dancer. Then it goes under the negative sentence. And I am a good dancer, which means a positive thing. Positive sense is said to be a positive sentence. And these sentences make statements. Can you find the statement? I am a dancer. Does it look simple? Yes, it's a simple statement. it shows it is a declarative sentence if you want me to give the best example for a simple statement let me tell you
question. So, interrogative questions will always ask I may be very shocked, I may be 
very surprised and I might be very happy sometimes, very sad sometimes. We think, we think a lot and we worry for some things. So those expressions are expressed under the exclamatory sentences. Let me give you an example for being happy. So I have written the word hooray. What is the meaning hooray? Yes. So it is the meaning where we show our happiness. When something is gained or when something is achieved or when something is won. Then we use the word hooray. When I say hooray, I should not show my dull face. Okay, I should not be very sad. I should be very happy. My enthusiasm should be increased. Then I can use the word hooray. Hooray, I won the match. Yes. So that is called hooray. Hooray means very, very happy. So just for an example, I lost my pet. For an example, I lost my pet. How can you express it? Okay, my ball. I can say, my God. I lost my pet. Then I cannot laugh. Oh my God. No, I cannot say. My God. I lost my pet. And that is called expression of sadness. Next. For an example. I am getting very surprised. My father had brought a dress. And I feel very happy or very surprised. Then I use the word saying, wow. Wow. What a beautiful dress is it. Then I show my happiness. Again, my surprise. My surprise is just shown out of my feelings. So then we, I, I just say wow. So the word wow means that I am very happy and I am very surprised to see. So these things, these expressions comes in an exclamatory sentence. It shows the feeling of the people. Yes, friends? Fine. So, just we will go for 